Welcome to Lingua Latina per se illustrata with Mr. K. This is chapter 28, lesson 2, exercises. Here we have practice with the imperfect subjunctive, active, ending in ret and rent, and the passive, ending in retur and rentur. So we see the first, second, third, and fourth conjugations here. Let's take, for example, the verb laudo laudare, to praise. Laudaret would be like, uh, so that she praises. Laudarent, so that, laud so that they praise. Laudaretur, so that she be praised. And laudarentur, so that they be praised. And um, that would come after a past tense verb. Uh, and after the past tense verb, you're going to have the imperfect happening at the same time. So here are some examples. Domino servo imperavit. The master commanded his slave, ut tacere et audiret, to be quiet and to listen. Tum e umonuit ut laborarit neve quiescarat. Then he warned him to work hard, to work and not to rest. Ut industrius eset, that he be hard working. So here we have the command, followed by the ut clause, ut takeret, that in the imperfect subjunctive, that he be quiet, that was uh, a second conjugation verb, and audiret, fourth conjugation, audiret, then he warned him to, that he work hard, laboraret, here in the first conjugation, and neque, neque quiescaret, which would be the third conjugation here. So the master commanded his slaves that they be quiet and that they listen. Then he warned them to work hard and not to rest, that they be hard working. Dominus imperavit ut servus improbus vocaretur, prehendretur, teneretur, puniretur. The master commanded that the bad slave be called, that he be uh, held or arrested, that he be held and that he be punished. And then we have the master commanded that the s bad slaves be called, be uh, apprehended, arrested, be held, and be punished. So here's our example. Jesus uh, viro claudo impera with ut blank at blank. Jesus commanded the lame man to get up and to walk. And so after this ut clause, and after this perfect form of the verb, we want surguret, that he get up, and that he ambularet. Okay, try the rest of those imperfect subjunctives. Let's go to exercise five. Here we have our vocabulary practice. Medus lydiam blank ut aliquid sibi legat. Medus, we want here another word for ora, to beg or to ask. And we're going to use the new one that we learned, which is rogat. Medus asks Lydia to read something to her. And the reason we have the subjunctive form here is we're in an ut clause. Um, Lydia, librum blank et leg et de jairo. So Lydia, we want a word for operet, and we learned in this chapter that a wolwit meaning to unroll, unroll a book, is to open the book, and reads about Jairus, a princeps of the Jews. But the form we need to match up with Jairo is the ablative, so we want princepe. Cuius uh, filia mortuam Jesus blank, whose uh, dead daughter Jesus, and we need the word here that means uh, woke up. And we learned that, that another word for that was suskitawit. Okay, let's look at the question and answer. Here we have Cur Medus Lydiae Libellum Red did neque ipsa legit. Why did Medus return the little book to Lydia and not himself read it? Uh, well, quia Medus numquam uh, legra didicit because Medus never learned to read. And here we have quia Medus legra nescit, because Medus does not know how to read. So again, when you have a, a different response, just cover it up and try giving the response that Orberg gave, even if your answer was correct. Good luck on the rest of these, and I'll see you back in lesson three.